Hey there, this is Mark. In this video, we're going to talk about the display node. In each new scene, there's a display node set to the bottom composite. In order to choose which display node you're looking at, you need to have the display toolbar active. We can bring that up by going to Windows, Toolbars, and choosing Display. Or we can right click anywhere in an open space on our toolbar and turn off Display. I'll move it over here to clean up my workspace. So this display is currently the one selected. And if we drop this down, we see we have several other displays that we can choose from. We can also go to the node library and bring another display up. Now that I've dragged display one into my node view, I can click down and select it. Since nothing is plugged into it, then nothing is shown. I'll switch back to my regular display. Now when you have a heavy scene with lots of compositing, lots of nodes and whatnot, this can get bogged down quite, quite a lot. So you actually want to isolate what you work with by choosing those displays and plugging them to what you're working with at the time. If I try to navigate this workspace, you can see that it's chugging along a bit because I've added a lot of nodes. If I look to my right, I've added a bunch of unnecessary nodes just to show you how it can bog down. So if I even plug another highlight and tone group, now I can barely move this workspace around. So when you're working, it can actually be a smarter way to isolate to what you're working on. If I only want to work on the girl character, I can simply go over, plug my display down from Selena, switch this over to display one, and now I'm only seeing Selena. Now I can move around and zoom in much more easily than when I only had the entire view available to me. So it's a good idea to isolate what you're working on. That way you'll be able to work faster, more effectively, and really focus on what you have in your isolated display. Lastly, you can also just rename your displays whatever you like. And that name will be reflected in your display toolbar.